we're going to just get started in a minute or so. Um, you should have just gotten a notification that the meeting is being recorded. That's just so that we can share it out with folks who weren't able to attend. Um, and you can just click that got it there. Uh, we also have captions turned on. And if you need those um, for any reason, uh, you can find uh, you can access them on the captions button of your Zoom toolbar. toolbar. Um, and if you can't access that or you're having trouble getting them turned on, uh, just let one of us know um, and we can help you out. And uh, why don't we get started, Nick? Yeah. Um, good evening, everyone, um, and welcome to the second uh, Greenberg Building Future Faculty Program Information, information Session. Uh, my name is Gavin Fermi. I use they them pronouns, and I am a graduate assistant working with the teaching and learning team at the Center for Teaching, Research, and Learning. Today, I am joined by my ineffable, my uh, my um, inimitable colleague, Mac. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? That's a strong uh, introduction there, Gavin. Um, but hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mac Cray. I use they them pronouns as well. And I'm a teaching and learning specialist here at CTRL. So what that means is we uh, provide support for folks around teaching and helping people figure out how to teach better um, and how to be more effective instructors. And so that's the that's one of the goals for our program here is to help you all as budding graduate students and graduate student instructors to become more effective and um, inclusive, equitable instructors. Well said. Um, so let's start us off with a lovely warm up chat. Um, so if you wouldn't be so kind, uh, if you're comfortable doing so, please in the chat, introduce yourself, put your name, your pronouns, if you wish, your department, uh, and share which of the pictures best represents how you're feeling about the semester. One of the reasons we start our uh, we start a lot of our programming with a warm up chat, which is a good uh, it's a good pedagogical technique. So just to get a little bit of pedagogy in here for you all, um, it uh, models the value of starting a, a uh, sorry uh, <laughs> my dog just barked at me. Um, it, it models starting a session in a way that allows for a little bit of warm up and it lets people uh, get a chance to get acquainted and get a little more comfortable in the session. Um, it's a great way to actually start your class as well, if, especially if you're gonna have folks be talking. Um, it just kind of warms people up and makes you feel a little bit uh, that it's a little bit easier and a little bit more um, comfortable to start participating in. Uh, in any sort of session, in a class or uh, any workshop. Number seven, the owl, I see, for uh, Amy. That's, uh, you know, I don't know if you can really, um, you know, personify exactly what that owl's expression is, but it certainly looks like it's smiling. I'm glad to see, and if that's how you took it, I'm glad to see that, uh, or glad to hear that you're, uh, glad to read that you're feeling that way. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Melissa. Hopefully the semester uh, works up a bit. Hi, Christine. Hi, Taylor. Number six and number nine. I'm glad to see such diversity of uh, of opinions here. It's uh, it's nice to know, even if it, well, I hope everyone's doing well. But um, you know, it's interesting how everyone has such a range of uh, moods at the moment, um, which is a great reminder that you never know exactly when you're coming into a room how everyone's doing and. Sometimes everyone might be doing just a little bit different. Uh, well, thank you all for uh, taking the time to, to join us today. Uh, Mac, if you wouldn't be so kind. Uh, I'd like to quickly go through some guidelines for participation for this session. 
Um, we ask that you make yourself comfortable. So stim, rock, fidget, knit, craft, etc. as you need. Be present, so participate in activities in a way that works for you, just like that warm-up chat. Ask questions and share ideas in the chat. Use the raise hand function to speak under reactions, which I believe you'll find at the bottom of the Zoom window. And be generous with your knowledge and respectful of others' knowledge. And so what is the Greenberg Building Future Faculty Program, or GBFF? if you're one for acronyms. Um, so the Greenberg Building Future Faculty Program um, is a program that's designed to provide hands-on practical preparation for terminal degree candidates, which is to say uh, PhD, JD, MFA, et cetera. Um, it, uh, is, it, the, for those of you who are interested in strengthening your teaching pursuits or interested in academic uh, uh, careers. Uh, participants in the program will have, which is hopefully you, will have the opportunity to engage in teaching and teaching related professional development, including meeting with fellow GBFF participants and some of our faculty mentors, uh, which we are very excited to um, say we've just uh, been onboarding and, and are eager to work with you. Um, Throughout this year, we will have uh, several opportunities to meet, um, including through um, various workshops that CTRL puts on, uh, as well as specific uh, workshops and events uh, designed for participants in the program. Uh, while all current degree uh, PhD MFA folks are eligible to participate um, at any time in their program, um, due to the job-focused nature of some of uh, the Greenberg um, uh, programming, you may wish to start this later in your uh, program. I keep saying program, but it, it you know it's a it's kind of one of those words that just means a lot of things. Um, so if you are interested in getting some support around job hunting, um, you may want to start this uh, process when you're at that stage of your program. However, if you want to start it earlier, for whatever reason, by all means, uh, you're welcome to do so. Um, and next slide. So many benefits. There are many benefits to participating in the GBFF program, including gaining practical and applicable knowledge, um, engaging with American University faculty, uh, developing job market related artifacts, uh, such as a teaching statement or you know, producing a, a syllabi. Uh, cultivating a community of scholars, uh, signaling to current and future employers, your commitment to teaching and professional development. And uh, this is with the, uh, with the Greenberg Fellows, uh, participating in mock job interviews to practice articulating your development, uh, particular, ugh, I'm sorry, to practice articulating your developing expertise in and commitment to teaching. I got it out there at the end. It's fine. But as you know, it's there's, there's so many benefits. Yeah, there's so many benefits, though. You can see we got a long list there, and that's not even all of them. But in order to um, kind of go through this process, uh, what we want to do here is share with you all what the requirements we've laid out for the Greenberg program. So there's some aspects of this program that are required and some aspects that are optional. Um, and because this is kind of an a la carte program, so I've, I've been calling it an a la carte or a choose your adventure type program. So what that essentially means is that there are very few things that are required for you to attend a specific event. Instead, what we hope is that you'll be able to use this program to attend the events that are most interesting to you or most relevant to you in your career, in your job search, whatever, um, you know, whatever, whatever speaks to you. We don't want to um, assume that we know the workshops and the programming that would be most useful to you. Instead, we want to give you the options um, from our programming to choose what would work best for you. So the requirements for this program are to include uh, attending eight teaching and learning workshops, which are sponsored by CTRL. Um, and these can be any workshops. We run a variety of workshops each semester on things from uh, anything from uh, teamwork, which we have a workshop coming up soon, 
to the science of learning through sessions we call Brain Fuel, to various uh, workshops focused on like developing a teaching portfolio or developing uh, any sort of teaching artifacts that you may need. So you can choose which workshops you'd like to attend. However, there are two workshops that we do require as a part of this. And these are the Introduction to Equitable Teaching, part one and two, um, which if, you, if you've been added to the Canvas site, you'll have gotten um, a notice about those. And if you haven't, you will, once, uh, if you decide to join and we uh, add you to the program. But essentially the, this is a space where we can all start to build a little bit of community together and give you some of that introduction, that basic, uh, information that you'd need about teaching and developing courses right at the start of the program. Um, these, this introduction to equitable teaching workshop will be held at least once a semester, um, at least once a semester, potentially more times depending on capacity of us and how many folks are unable to attend uh, any given session that we run. We also ask that you reflect on your workshop attendance via Canvas. So there's a Canvas assignment that you'll have to do uh, after you attend each workshop. And just it's a like a 100 word uh, reflection about what you learned at the workshop, what you gained, what you still would like to learn, just kind of uh, promoting and prompting that self reflection on your teaching, which is a really good practice to get into as you move into uh, more academic uh, job roles. We also ask that you attend at least two job market workshops facilitated and organized by the Greenberg faculty fellows. So as Gavin mentioned, we have two faculty members that are working directly with us. Um, and they are going to focus really heavily on that job market because they have a lot more experience on the academic job market um, than we do. So they will be developing some workshops. We're still in the process of figuring out what those are, but you'll get information about those once, uh, once they're planned. We also ask that you write two job market related artifacts and receive feedback on those likely from our uh, Greenberg faculty fellows. So these can be things like Gavin mentioned. So the, the teaching statement, the sample syllabi, cover letters, diversity statements, whatever you need in order to um, apply for any jobs that you're looking at, that's what, we're, um, that's what we're looking to give you all feedback on. And then we'll also ask you to just more generally reflect on your experience with the Greenberg program. Again, through written, written reflections on Canvas, taking a similar format as the reflections that you'll write after your workshops, However, this will be a slightly longer, more uh, comprehensive reflection after you finish um, or after you complete the requirements of the, pro of the program and would like to kind of get that completion uh, certificate and transcript notation. And then lastly, you have an invitation to participate in some short non-evaluative surveys uh, for program assessment that can help you figure out your, or how you uh, view and feel about teaching and learning and how that's changed over your participation in the program. Some additional opportunities that we have, so these are not required, um, but these are things that we're planning on offering, which are uh, the ability to attend and participate in mock job interviews, um, the option to network with the Greenberg community, and then receiving direct mentorship from Greenberg Associated Faculty. And to uh, highlight are the faculty that we currently have that are working with us. Um, we have hired Dr. Leyland Johnson and Dr. M uh, Maya Livio who are both fantastic faculty members here and wrote some really great proposals about the type of work that they want to uh, do with you all and the type of programming that they want to provide to you. So like Gavin said, we're in the process of onboarding these folks. We just um, we just hired them within the last, uh, less than a month ago. So we're still getting them onboarded and uh, figuring out what that job market related programming will be, but uh, it is in the process of being developed um, I'm not sure if you all know, and I, I don't think that we mentioned it, but this is the first year of this um, iteration of the Greenberg uh, program. So what that means is that there's still some kinks that we need to work out. We have a lot of things that are organized and ready to go, and there are some things that are still in the process of being developed. But luckily, um, what that means for you all is that you get to have some input into the, the programming that we are developing. And we uh, really, really value that input that you all have. So with that, um, that's really all we have today. We wanted to leave this as mostly a space for you all to ask any questions that you have. We do have, um, if you're not already registered for the program, you can access uh, the program page and sign up for the program through a um, Qualtrics form linked on that page there. You can also find it by scanning that QR code that I'm pretty proud I was able to make with the AU logo there. 
Um, and uh, yeah, nice. so if you have any questions, thank you, Gavin. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to raise your hand or pop them in the chat. Um, we're here uh, to answer any questions that you have or any clarification that you need. Go ahead, Amy. Hello. Um, my question was just simply, um, how long does the average person take to get through the program or what's the appropriate length of time? So, ahead, Excellent Kevin. question. No, no, please, Mac. Um, so we, we essentially designed it such that folks could finish it within a year. Um, that was our that was our hope, so that anyone who was maybe starting and didn't realize uh, that the program existed would be able to finish it relatively quickly. I would say the maybe the preferred timeline would be around a year to two years, given that um, a lot of the work will be put into developing those teaching related artifacts and having some time to reflect on those and actually build them out um, is really valuable for your own professional development. And so just to clarify, one to two years before you graduate or one to two years before you might try to obtain some kind of teaching position? I mean, it can be what it, so we're we're imagining that the program can take about two years, uh, about a year to two years to finish. And mm -hmm. whenever that works with uh, your timeline is when you can put it into your uh, is when you can participate in it. So there's no I know we said there's this job market focus, but you don't necessarily need to be um, in the program just in order to get that job market focus. There's a lot of really, well, I guess I'm a little biased, but a lot of really solid uh, programming and development that we are develop developing um, that'll be valuable regardless of the time in which you uh, take it in. Because okay. some uh, graduate students will be teaching before they graduate and as such may benefit from some of these workshops and you know orientations before they actually graduate because... These are very, especially at the uh, the workshops that Mac and I are in the process of developing now for Greenberg participants on course design. I'm sure those would be very useful to folks who are planning to teach in the spring or, or uh, in another semester coming up. Thank you, that's really helpful. I just finished teaching a class right now. So I, I would love to learn any of this, but I wondered if it was really more job related focused or if it would also apply to a teaching assistant position like this. So thank you. Yeah, that's it definitely does. Words. I would say we really have two focuses and one is that teaching component and one is that job market component. Any other questions? Right. I guess if we're if there are no questions, um, you all can feel free to um, head out. We won't we won't keep you here. Um, but if you do have questions uh, that come up, I know it, it can be hard to think of those questions as you're when you haven't even engaged in any of the programming yet. Um, but Gavin and I are both here to help answer any questions that you have. Uh, my email's plastered in many places across uh, the internet and. <laughs> Um, any of the program pages, but I'll put it here in the chat again um, in case that's helpful for you. Do you mind if I ask another question? I'm sorry. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> so do we just jump in anywhere along the track that we want to just jump in and then we just have to make sure we finish the certain requirements by the end of the period? And do you get something like a certificate at the end or what does the end look like? Yeah, so that end will look like... Um, the the final component will be uh, writing a reflection on your experience in the program. And that'll be, or you can write it, you can record it. We want to make sure that it's multimodal so that people can choose the one that works best for them. Um, but that being said, it'll be reflecting on your experience in the program. And then after you do that, uh, you'll have the opportunity, or you will get a transcript note uh, notation that you completed this program and also a certificate of completion. I'm very Although sorry I said that and I missed it because I got interrupted. No, you're good. I didn't okay. say that. 
Although the real takeaway might just be the, the, the information and the lessons you learn along the way. But you can do it in any order is what I hear you saying. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and it and doesn't have to be along those two year uh, limit either. Those are just that's the one year, the two year. It's it's really designed to be at your own pace and and within the time constraints that you have. So it's it's supposed to be flexible to meet your specific needs. Great. Thank you again. Yeah. And I hope your class went well. Any other questions that we have? I think we're, we're, we're good to go. Um, so if you haven't registered for the, the program yet, please, and you want to, um, please do fill out that uh, Qualtrics form and I'll add you to the Canvas site likely tomorrow. Um, and reach out at any point um, if you have any questions. And we're excited to have you here and to work with you all. Take care. Thank you, bye. Bye. And Christine, are you hanging around because you have a question or just uh, I was, no, I was trying to open the link so then I had to go to the chat and then I'm like okay I have to leave <laughs> oh no no worries it's all good it's all good I just didn't want to uh, end the meeting if you had a question or something no 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 thank you very much I appreciate it take care all right thanks uh -huh. you as well all right good job